Fisker Ocean versus Kia EV6. Which one will you buy? In this video, we will compare the Fisker Ocean and Kia EV6 in terms of their exterior and interior design, technology, performance, pricing, and which one to buy. The Fisker Ocean is the new big thing, and it gives us a bold step into the future of electric cars, as there will be a step closer to attracting more first-time electric car buyers than ever before. The Kia EV6 remains a compact crossover hatchback, and the company's debut electric car started with the 2022 model. This vehicle is unique from the previous Kia models, and we're expecting more EVs from Kia in the near future. Without wasting time, let's get into the Fisker Ocean and Kia EV6 overview. 1. Exterior Design The Fisker Ocean may appear like an unlikely matchup with the Kia EV6. The major reason for this is how they appear on the exterior. You can easily recognize the Fisker Ocean as an SUV because it has a tall profile and a straight-through roofline. Even though there are smooth corners, you can easily associate it with an SUV due to its boxy presence. For the EV6, we understand that Kia is marketing it as an SUV, but it doesn't come across as an SUV. It features a short hood and a fastback sloped rear window line. The exterior appearance looks more like a crossover or a station wagon. Despite the exterior differences, their dimensions are within 3 to 4 inches. They are also both in the compact SUV class. Ocean features some great styling, having slim line lights in the front and rear. However, the Kia EV6 has a more aggressive styling. The front has flared out LED daytime running lamps, which Kia refers to as the digital tiger face. 2. Interior Design Going to the interior, these two may appear different, just like the exterior, but they share many similarities. The obvious difference is in the infotainment clusters. The 2023 Fisker Ocean has an infotainment system that uses a standard 17.1-inch touchscreen. This touchscreen is mounted in the middle of the dashboard. With its slick interface, you can easily configure the home menu and many personalized settings. However, Kia uses a large curved screen with two 12-inch screens, one for the instrument cluster and the other for the infotainment. Much like a Tesla, the centerpiece of the Fisker Ocean's interior is a huge touchscreen. One great feature of the Ocean's tablet screen is that you can easily rotate it into a landscape mode to watch movies or play games when parked. Another difference is what Fisker calls California mode. The sunroof and all windows are dropped to create an open convertible feeling. You can activate this feature just with the touch of a button. On the other hand, the EV6 only offers a traditional sunroof. Aside from these major differences, both vehicles use very similar ideas. They both use slim and lightweight seats. When it comes to legroom, they both offer very similar dimensions. 3. Tech The technology features of both vehicles are what we should also consider. They both feature a highway driving assistant to maintain speed distance and center in lane. One of the unique features of the Ocean is the use of a digital imaging radar system. With this system, Fisker claims that it is the first to bring to market. Other similar features include vehicle to load and vehicle grid capabilities, over the air updates, lane change assists, and surround view. One great feature of the Kia EV6 is its augmented reality head up display. The EV6 and the Ocean come in small and large battery sizes. 4. Performance For the battery capacity of the Fisker Ocean, Fisker hasn't yet made it known. However, it appears to be around 80 kilowatts. The smaller battery EV6 will only come in two-wheel drive in the U.S. market. For the larger battery, it comes in both two-wheel and all-wheel drive. With the Fisker, the Ocean's smaller battery will be a two-wheel drive whereas the larger battery comes with only an all-wheel drive. Let's talk about the car. Let's go to the real performance. According to reports and testing of the Ocean, the EPA estimates that the single motor model can travel 250 miles on a single charge. The range estimate exceeds 350 miles with dual motors. The Fisker Ocean is also well-suited to most EV charging stations. Amazingly, Fisker has partnered with Electrify America to provide its users with an unstated amount of complimentary charging. For this vehicle, the precise charging times have still not been released. However, as per reports, the available roof-mounted solar panels are expected to supply up to 2,000 miles of range per year under real conditions. 
We should also note that this particular claim remains to be seen. The ultra and extreme motors in the ocean are extremely close to the high performance GT motor in the EV6. There are similar differences regarding the range. The ocean appears to go a bit farther than the Kia EV6 as per the range for the larger battery. For the towing, the Ocean beats the EV6 with more power range and towing capability. It shows that the Ocean would have a real edge on the EV6. 5. Pricing Fisker has announced the initial pricing for the entire Ocean lineup, but the company has not disclosed how much the destination fee will be. For this reason, we can only estimate each trim's starting price. The Fisker Ocean Sport could cost $39,000, the Ultra $51,500, the Ocean Extreme and the Ocean One could cost $70,000. On the other hand, the Kia EV6 has a starting price of $40,600. Although there are different versions of the EV6, other versions would be a bit higher than the starting price, depending on the upgrade. It is obvious that the Fisker Ocean costs more than the EV6. And here's our verdict. Both cars have great features, but we are to choose one. After comparing both features, the Fisker Ocean is a more fantastic electric vehicle. Both cars are great, but having gone through this little comparison, we will give it to the Fisker Ocean. And that's all for today, guys. You can drop a comment on which one you feel is better and would like to go for. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.